In this tutorial you will learn how to create sprinting in Unreal Engine 5. Now I'm letting go, now I'm hitting shift key and my character is sprinting. First thing we need to do is go to edit, project settings and under engine you find inputs, then action mappings, let's create a new one and name this one sprint. Here for the input, let's type in shift, let's use the left shift key or you can create another one. Let's say you also want the right shift key, so you have that input. Then select your first person character right here, open that one up. This is made of different components, namely the character movement component is the one we need. Because now, when I look at speed, you can change the maximum walk speed, which is default at 600. So, go to the event graph and drag this one out, because we can get a reference from this. And then we're going to go to max walk speed. And we want to set the maximum walk speed. So choose this one, set. Now, what we want to happen is when we use the input for sprint. So right click here and then find sprint. This is the action we created. When we press sprint, we want to change the maximum walk speed. And when we release it, we also want to change this. So let's create two variables, namely the walk speed. And let's make this of a float. Okay, compile. And the walking speed is set to 600 in Unreal Engine. So let's keep it at that and create another variable, namely the sprint speed. Compile and let's change this to three times the amount. For example, you can enable any value you like and hit compile once again. So when we press sprint, we want to enable this sprinting speed. So from sprint speed, get the sprint speed and enable this one. And when we release it we want back to the walk speed so select this one Control w to duplicate this one also connect this one up but this time we're going to use the walk speed get the walk speed connect this one up and also plug this one in here and so when it's pressed it is printing and when it is released it is back to the walk speed because right now hit compile then play right now i'm walking and I hold the shift key and you can see I'm really sprinting ahead right now. Now, for a game, this is way too much. I know in real life you can sprint at least three times the amount of speed you can walk. But for a game, let's set it more like 1200. Compile play. And now when I sprint, this is more game-like feel. Okay, another thing you can do right now, this is already perfect for working inside of a game. But what we can do for later on, except for, for example, when we want to crouch, we also want to see if it's sprinting or not. So we can add a boolean, so variable, for example, is sprinting, question mark. And let's make this a boolean, okay, hit compile. And by default, we are not sprinting. So hit alt key and you can drag this out because we need to set this one. Connect these up. So when we hit the sprint key, we go sprinting and is sprinting is enabled and when we release the key sprinting is no longer enabled so there's an extra step which can be handy for later on and you can reference is sprinting so select this one c name this one sprinting i also like to give my my character movement components a color for my comments and then you can drag this one in hit play and enjoy your sprinting Oh, 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 oh,